Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you five intermediate level strumming patterns. So if you're a beginner wanting to take your playing to the next level, then this is the video for you. These are also my go-to strumming patterns. So a lot of you ask me in my videos which strumming pattern I'm using, and most of the time it's going to be one of these five strumming patterns. So each one has its own challenges to them, so you might spend a little bit of extra time than usual practicing each one of these strumming patterns. I just want to let you know that that's totally normal and I would go ahead and grab your ukulele right now because we're going to break down each one so that you can play it along with me. Also if you're on Patreon there is a lead sheet that you can download. It's kind of a strumming guide for this video and there's also a play along video for those of you in the upper tiers. We can practice playing these strumming patterns with chord progressions together. So before we start learning any of these strumming patterns I just want to talk Talk quickly about which fingers you're using in your strum hand. So oftentimes people will use just the index finger to do all the down and up strokes or they'll use just their thumb to do all the down and up strokes. But if you want to get into a more intermediate kind of playing, I recommend using a combination of the two. So what I do is down strums with the index and then up strums with the thumb. And this can really take some getting used to, so just keep it in mind and try to incorporate it in your playing as you go. So let's look at the first strumming pattern. This one is super common. You're gonna see it all over ukulele music. And some people think it's like overused, but I just think it's overused because it's a great strum. <laughs> so you might know it already. It is down, down, up, up, down, up. And I use this all the time. So we have down, down, up, up, down, up. So let's break it down by stroke. We are going to be first playing a down, and then after you play the down, your hand comes back up without playing. So that's down, and then we have down, up, and then your hand goes down without playing, up, down, up. So again, that's down, down, up, up, down, up. So you want to keep your hand moving like this the whole time, even when you're not playing on the ukulele. So again, down, down, up, up, down, up. Also, I forgot to mention, we're going to be playing on C for all these drums for the whole video. So let's try it one more time. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And that is the strumming pattern. Here it is in a song so that you can kind of get it in context. Well, you done done me and you bet I felt it. I tried to be chill, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. And now I'm trying to get back. So it's a super solid strumming pattern. You can use it all the time. <laughs> So now this next strumming pattern is a variation on the one that we just learned. Now we're going to be adding some percussive strums into that strumming pattern. So we have down, chuck up, up, chuck up. Here's what that sounds like. We have down, chuck up, up, chuck up. So now we've just added a chuck on beats two and four. And if you're wondering what a chuck is, let me explain it. So <laughs> the chuck happens all in the strumming hand. You are going to play all of the strings with your fingers. And I usually use all of the fingers more or less, but at the same time, you mute with your palm right here. So it sounds like this. Whoops. <laughs> so like I said, nothing's happening here. It's all happening in the strum hand. So it might take you a little bit of time to get that chuck. And also it takes a little bit of time to incorporate switching between strums and chucks. So if you wanna practice that, I recommend just alternating between a down strum and a chuck. So down, chuck, down, chuck, down, chuck. 
That helps you get used to the feel of switching back and forth. So let's put it into the strumming pattern. We have down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So again, make sure to keep this hand moving. And also now you've got the chucks in there. So again, down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, down, chuck. So that is the second strumming pattern. Here it is in a song, so you can hear what it sounds like. Raindrops keep falling on my head But that doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red Crying's not for me Oh, raindrops keep falling on my head They keep falling <laughs> So it's a nice way to make that down, down, up, up, down, up strum just a little bit more interesting. So now let's go on to the third strumming pattern. This one has fewer strokes than the ones that we've looked at before. The tricky part is um, the amount of time that you have in between each stroke. So here's the strum. We have down, up, chuck, chuck. And here's what it sounds like on the uke. Down, up, chuck. Chuck. So there's a couple of tricky things. The first part, let's look at, we have down, up, chuck. And the tricky part about this is you really want that up strum to come at the last second. So down, up, chuck. The up strum comes really late. Down, up, chuck. And in comparison, if it were even, it would sound like this. Down, up, chuck. But we don't want that. We want to have the up strum come really late. Down, up, chuck. <laughs> and then the next tricky part is really waiting a full beat of rest on that next beat three so that it's really silent that whole time. And then we have a chuck on beat four. So all together we have down, up, chuck, rest, chuck. <laughs> One more time. Down, up, chuck. Rest, chuck. So really make sure that that rest is a full beat of rest. Otherwise, your strumming pattern's not gonna be in time. So here it is in the context of a song. It was the best of times, the worst of crimes. I struck a match and blew your mind, but I didn't mean it. And you didn't see it. So this is a really nice strum for the verse section or somewhere where you just, you don't want to be playing full out yet and you want to have some kind of like cool groove going on. So that was the third strumming pattern. Now we're going to go over the fourth strumming pattern and this is one that I teach in my tutorial videos all the time, but I don't always explain the um, secret stuff going on in the strumming pattern. So the strum is down, 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 up, down, 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 up. And if I were to just play it normally, it sounds like this. But what I do is I accent certain beats within the strumming pattern. So I play it like this. And it's a subtle difference, but this is one of the things that's going to make you sound more like an intermediate player and not just a beginner player. So what's going on is I'm accenting on beats two and four of the strumming pattern. And this is to imitate the drum feel that's going on in a lot of these songs. So oftentimes in the drum set, you'll hear the snare playing on beats two and four so that the groove sounds something like boom, boom, chum, boom, 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 chum, boom. So this is the ukulele imitating that sound. So again, we have down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So basically, I'm accenting the beats two and four, and then I'm keeping all of the other strokes very soft. So those first two down strums, we have down, down. I'm playing very soft, and I'm actually only playing the first two strings or so. Down, down. And then on beat two, on that third down strum, I play loud and all four strings. 
So that much is down, down, down. Then on the down up again, back to the top two strings and really soft. Down, up. So all together, that is down, 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 up. And then the rest of the strum is just a repetition. Down, 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 up. So all together, we have down, 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 up, down, 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 up. And that is the secret strumming <laughs> going on in there. So in the context of a song, here's what it sounds like. When you were here before Couldn't look you in the eye You're just like an angel Your skin makes me cry So it really has a nice feel and groove going on to it. So that is the fourth strumming pattern. Let's go on to the fifth and final strumming pattern. This is one that I use all the time and I think it's probably my favorite strum. So this one is down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So there's quite a few things going on there. Here's what it sounds like on the uke. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So let's break it down by stroke. So that first one, we have a down. And then we're gonna do kind of a little wiggle with the hand. We do an up, down, up, but without playing any of the strings. So down, up, down, up. It feels funny at first. Down, up, down, up. And the reason we're doing this is to, you know, you wanna always keep your hand moving. This helps you play in time. So one more time, down, up, down, up. Then the next part, we have a down again, and we have an up, down, without playing, and then an up. So let's just go from that second down strum again. We have down, up, down, up. One more time, down, up, down, up. So from the top, we have down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. One more time, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then the next part we have the up, down. So we are going to be going down without a strum. <laughs> and then we do up, down, up. <laughs> so one time on that up, down. So invisible down, down, up, down, up. Now let's go from the top and put those all together. We have down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. One more time. Down, down, up, up, down. And then to finish it off, we have a down, down, up. So all together, <laughs> We have down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So let's play it a little bit quicker. We have down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. And now just a little bit faster. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So like I said, keep this hand moving the whole time. <laughs> and up to tempo, we have down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So practice slowly to get this hand motion going and then speed up the tempo little by little. So here it is in a song. <laughs> Nothing's gonna change my world Nothing's gonna change my world 
And that is all five of my secret strumming patterns. I use them all the time, switch between all five. They're all really great ones to know. If you wanna practice these strumming patterns with me, again, there's those play along videos on Patreon. We're gonna be practicing them with chord progressions. So thank you for watching. Please like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how it went for you in the comments. I'm really curious to hear your feedback on these strumming patterns. And I hope that you have a lovely day. I'll see you again really soon. Bye.